The long-awaited trial of Jimmy Lai started today in Hong Kong after a year-long delay. The media tycoon and free speech advocate is charged with several crimes, including colluding with foreign forces. This amid a crackdown on freedoms in Hong Kong. Our Elizabeth Palmer has more. Jimmy Lai's been in jail for the past three years, charged under China's sweeping national security law. The proceedings that began today are expected to go on well into the new year. Reporters clustered around the van transporting Lai as it arrived at the courthouse. His supporters and foreign diplomats as well were there hoping to get a seat inside at this historic trial. In the early 2000s, Jimmy Lai was rich, powerful, and a fearless critic of China and its erosion of freedoms in Hong Kong. His newspaper, the widely read Apple Daily, was just as critical. And Lai knew that he was on thin ice, but he always refused to leave Hong Kong. You know, if I leave, not only I disgrace myself, I discredit Apple Daily and also undermine the solidarity of the democratic movement. It's something I have to take responsibility. But in the summer of 2020, the authorities had had enough. Police shut down Apple Daily and took Lai into custody, where he has been ever since. Now, his trial may have begun today, but his son, Sebastian, isn't expecting justice. Uh, there's no jury. Um, the, the security minister boasted of a 100% conviction rate. Um, so so the, the, this is not going to be a fair trial. There's, there's, I, think, I don't think there's any uh, uh, um, doubt about that. Amnesty International agrees it's called the trial a sham, and observers inside and outside Hong Kong believe the point is to make sure that Jimmy Lai, who is now 76 years old, remains muzzled and in jail until he dies. Chanel? Liz, thank you.